Hello everybody and welcome back to the episode of the Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod once again. We are jumping in and this time we are gonna go as... I don't know who to go as. Let's go as horror maybe. I like the extreme mutation choice. It's really nice. The beam I don't usually find super useful until late game when I don't need rads anymore. But it's, it's kind of good to have. I, I mainly just use this guy for the extra mutation. I like things with characters that are very passive. Passive things bring me joy. But yeah, again today we'll see if we can um, unlock some golden weapons with the crown strategy we went for. We'll also maybe try and actually put together a build that's going to work for that um, courtyard area. Because I've heard that's very hard. Um, and I'm excited to see what the reward is. I've been told it's very interesting. Um... I don't know if it's an unlock or something for the particular run that you're on, but either way, I like the idea. Um, and here's our extra choices. Bang, look at all this. Um, beam charges quicker, it heals, and sometimes Mr. Beam will drop rads. It's kind of good. Um, let's go for power craving, though. We got that early enough for it to be pretty darn useful, I think. We'll go with the, uh, the shotgun here. I do like the shotgun. And the pop gun is, of course, really good too. But we'll, we'll get through all of this first. Crossbow there as well. Hey, fella. How are you doing? I think pop gun's probably going to be best for this guy. Oh, the beam is different now. The beam is not how I remember it being. Okay, nice. Okay, so maybe I will use the beam a little bit more since it's a bit, bit changed up. Intriguing. Intriguing. But yeah, another mutation here. Let's have a little look at what we want to go for here. We want to build something that's going to be good for later. So let's take Tough Shell for now. I'm going to try and take some more defensive stuff that's going to help out later on. Because the thing is, scarier face and stuff is good, but it's not, like, needed right now. Like, we're killing stuff perfectly fine at the moment. So it's a little bit wasted on us, really. It's a very quick stage here. Not even half a level off of that bad boy. Okay, though. I love having the shotgun early on as well, especially if you can get an accuracy increase with it, which obviously we don't currently have, but if we get one later down the line, any shotgun's going to be good with it. Get away, you. And yeah, we do have power craving now as well, so we do want to pick up weapons where we can, such as the triple pop gun that now has flame on it as well. I like that idea. We've got a level up out of that as well. Um... Go with Bloodlust here for that little bit of extra healing ability. We have triple pop gun. Ammo consumption is absolutely through the roof. But it's one of those weapons that just like... If you just want to take out a big old area very quickly. It's going to do it at a costly price. But it's going to do it well. Cool. We got that done. Laser pistol, not particularly interesting for us. We can take lightning or shotgun. We'll go with lightning, I think. Um, we don't want our crown yet. We want to wait a little bit before taking our crown. Uh, I really want to be getting to level 7 or 8 before we take the uh, the crown that I'm talking about. The one that gives us ultra chests. Because this is another use for this. So we are... Getting sniped like crazy right now. But we're able to take most of them out. I think, honestly, fire and lightning is such a, a good mix with these. I think we got shotgun on this as well as the ability. The uh, double director shotgun, the pretty good stuff. Nah, I don't want to use that. Let's use the, the director shotgun. Beautiful stuff. Yeah, it's got shotgun on it as well. That's pretty awesome. Got a shotgun with a shotgun on, on top. Um, let's take the pause again here. Pause is even more healing for us. Right, this is the sort of one where this is going to come in handy. Make sure we get the ammo, though. That's the biggest thing with this. Just make sure I have a constant feed of ammo coming in, otherwise... It's going to be tricky. You can already see that ammo is a big concern. We're down to 49, but this is why we have the shotgun as a backup. Shotgun's going to help, even though the shotgun is also kind of ammo hungry. Flat cannon. I don't think we need flat cannon, really. Um, 
Brum, but once again. Probably go with Rabbit's Paw here. Did take some hits we didn't necessarily need to take there. Just keep our distance. The director shotgun's doing a good job of hitting all of its shots. There you go. Didn't think that'd be a problem. And we got healing back off of that as well. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. Okay, starting area with no enemies is useful. Right, these are the areas where we want to use this gun. Fire line is pretty decent here. Let's see what we get on it. Splinter, I think that is. Double director shotgun, double flame director shotgun. Let's take the double flame director shotgun, shall we? Right. A little bit tricky here. Laser cannon. No, thank you. We'll do the double director shotgun here. The same thing, but with a bit of extra flame added on. And flame, as you can see, is pretty darn useful here. I managed to get more of those saw blades there, but I won't hold it against him. I like the fact that the electricity from the um, mute on this, from the mod, makes it a little better for uh, like shooting around corners and stuff. Okay, that guy has a car. Don't like how this has gone so far. I just want these bits of healing here. Also shotty there. It's always fun. Okay, good. Took a bit of doing there, but we got through it with actually decent ammo left over as well. We got projectile speed on this as well, which is pretty nice. Um, let's take second stomach here. And we can go with reload, flame, shotgun, explosive. Let's go with explosive on this. Really go all out. And I think at this point we're probably ready to take our, um, take our crown. It's this one here we want. Okay, good stuff. And this is going to allow us to get a lot of golden weapons. I heard the boy land. I just don't know where he landed. There he is. Don't land on top of me, you dick. I don't know how much health that guy has. But well, he's nowhere near as hard as he is in vanilla with some of these weapons. While we're going through these corridors, we just want to use the shotgun. It's in open areas like this that we want to whip out the big boy guns. You can see what the setup we've got going on. This is doing pretty damn well. <gasps> Blood launcher. And one last guy there. Excuse me. Cool. Okay. Good stuff. And we'll come in here and use this bad boy again. Oh, this thing's amazing with this setup. Honestly, you can proper transform some of these weapons with a few good weapon mods on them. That's why I like power craving so much. Having the ability to add extras, getting extra in your thingy room. Um, just all adds up so well. I mean, this is good, but Bloodline. Bloodline has saved us a few times in the past. I think Bloodline's very good, I'll take that. And we got it with Explosive on as well, which is pretty darn good. Um... We'll go with Boiling Veins here as well. You see what I mean? Just a line of pure damage. Like, look at that. Just absolutely annihilated that guy. Trident here. 
Hmm, wonder what's the deal with the trident, because that seems like a very regular melee, but I bet it does something else. Maybe it does Kraken effect or something, because that a purple schween. Cool. Good to go. Right. Be careful here. Unfortunately, this weaponry isn't the best for this area. High HP enemies. We're not going to do a ton against those. We'll do what we can. That's two explosives you throw in our way. Nice stuff. Is that it? No. Nope. There's one more over here. Oh, there's more than one more. There's a few fellas. We've got an inverted portal as well, which isn't great because it's mean that we get an inverted um, boss. I think we'll take Rhino Skin here as well. Kraken Yo Yo. I don't even know what some of these enemies do, so I'm just keeping my distance by quite a bit. This bloodline is so goddamn good. Being able to take out three of those with a single shot is very, very nice. Yeah. There's our chest. Right, we got all of that done. Right, what do we actually get from this? Super lightning crossbow, quadruple director shotgun, spiral slash director shotgun. Super Slugger, Infinite Revolver, Auto Splinter Gun. Pretty cool. I think I'll take the crossbow though. The bloodline is so good though. I think the crossbow is going to be better for us here. There's another golden thing up unlocked. We get the Electro Gun. The Blood Wall. Interesting. Right. Um, Electro Cannon. Let's try that out and take that. Let's exit through here. Okay, let's see how this goes. Electro Cannon, maybe do your thing. You've come with um, Reload Speed on as well. Okay, careful. Make sure to stand way off to the side here. That There you go. Oh, fuck me. I forget how hard the fucking Ultra version of this guy is. Okay, so, enemies explode into rad bullets depending on the amount of rads they drop. Portals appear earlier. Uh, double radiation capacity. Um, homing beam. Beam goes through walls. And choose an ultra mutation from another character. Um, choose an ultra mutation from another character. Doesn't include things you can't use. Get offered patience with every choice. Hmm, interesting. The type of enemy that dies last in an area is dead the next area. More blood damage. More melee swing rate. Portals no longer randomize weapons. Uh, thrown, throws bounce towards enemies. Enemies drop more rads. Bosses drop ultra chests instead of gold chests. Get a partner. And your projectiles put enemies to sleep for a short moment. Hmm. Go with patience and try and get something better. Okay, this guy has... I just about to say, this dude is going to fuck me because I don't have the ammo to fight him. <laughs> My bad. That was unfortunate. 
sadly we randomized our pistol again for our gold weapon. But it ain't even gold. The hell? Yeah, that was rough. I probably should have just used my um what's it called? Um I can't remember the name for it now. I should have just used my beam to block some shots there, but I didn't think about that quick enough, did I? Oh my god. Dude! Getting just wrecked on right here. SMG off the bat's pretty interesting. I like that. Good fast firing weapon to start out. Gimme gimme. Nice easy first stage. Good good. Level 2 as well. Um... Let's go with Enriched Metabolism. I'm sure that'll save my life a few times here and there. Gaining ammo off of it is like kind of secondary, but it's nice at least. Not a bad thing at all. Getting accuracy up would be nice just for this SMG to be slightly more useful. We'll try and go Pizza Sewers here as well if we can. Also, it means we can completely miss what I meant to fire at there. Shortcut through here. Not that that was necessary, like, at all, but I've done it now. I can't undo it. Spear launcher. One. Beautiful stuff. Don't know if spear launcher is any good, actually. I've not really used that before. Quickly pop up here to the last few geezers. Yeah, I'm liking this SMG a lot. Oh, apart from when I miss stuff. Um, no eagle eyes, unfortunately. Scary of face. Nah, we've always got to take absorbing pause. It's just so good early on. Shotgun rifle. Oh, it switches between shotgun and rifle, I see. I'm still going to stick with the SMG for now. Ow. Good. I like the fact that it doesn't suck you straight into the portal. It allows us to explore the rest of the floor. We've got an inverted, though. I think I'd rather take the inverted. Good. Level 4 as well. Nice. Careful of that. SMG's doing a mighty fine job so far. Sledgehammer as well. Nice. Projectile speed. Doesn't really fit on anything we've got right now, but I... Ugh, doesn't matter. <laughs> Didn't get a chance. There's Eagle Eyes. Let's take it. SMG becomes insanely good. Grab all the rads here. Where's our golden chest? Ah, oh, there it is. Golden car thrower? What the hell? I've never seen that before as a golden weapon. That's ace. <laughs> that seems super dangerous. I love it. I'm ready for that. I am ready for that. Right, um... Let's go with the fist for the 30% damage bonus. Wow, at max HP, that is. Dude, this SMG, once you get um, Eagle Eyes, it just carries. Like, it's doing such a good job right now. And then we can choose our grenade launch for this guy. I was wondering where our weapon chest was. He's fucking sat on it. The accelerator. Oh, that's the one where the closer we are, the less damage it does. Oh, 
So I gotta keep moving forward. Triple assault rifle, I don't think we particularly need. Dude, this thing is so good. <laughs> We are rinsing things with this. Cleared that stage easily. Um, take second stomach again, I think. Yeah, I guess I keep my distance and that thing will destroy you. Oh my god, I love this. SMG slaps. I don't know how much bonus damage slash fire rate I'm getting off of it being gold. I'm probably getting a little bit. Use the accelerator at some distance. Obsidian throwing knife we don't really need. Oh, there's a car, like, gliding towards me, eerily. Awesome. It's like this little just corridor that keeps going. Dude, it just keeps going. With this. Um, I'm going to take more damage. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm going to go for it. So, wait, did we take the inverted portal or not? I'm confused. I, went, I walked... Okay, I did, yeah. So I walked through the inverted portal, but I ended up in a different place. Yeah, this thing's just nuts. The accelerator. Get enough distance between you and whatever you're firing at and it's basically dead. Cool. Sheep on a stick. That's what about range with this thing. Just gotta worry about ammo, which is going quickly. Okay, god damn this thing's just slapping. Okay, I can go straight through actually. Let's do that. Um Rhino skin, I think. Blame on that, I guess. I try to keep my distance from the cat, and I can do really good damage to it. Oh shit! I was wondering what was hurting me. This fucking dude's firing missiles at me. There you go. Okay, not too bad. Okay, I've kept my golden weapon for a reason. Take out you guys. Take out all of that. Take out you. Where the hell is it? Boom! There it is. My weapon chest. There you go, into the gold area. And in here we'll take Tough Shell as well. I'm pretty scared about this area because I just... not I'm not very prepared for it, I must admit. Also the accelerator... 
is good, but not the best for this. It'd be, it'd be better if I could hit things. The melee hits keep blocking my shots, though. Oh shit, the ball boy is there. Okay, got you. What? What did he hit me with? I'm confused. I'm confused by what I died to there. We got the SMG again. I'm confused by what I died to there. I really want to complete that area while it's gold and see what happens. I think something else happens if we put a curse weapon in there too. We got options. Hell. That's annoying. Those are really good weapons to have there as well. I thought I got him, but he's just taking so much damage to kill. See, not having accuracy in this area is fine. Because the enemies are spread out all over the place. Shotgun, I'd rather have that. Thank you. Let's take scarier face this time. Let's go for more damage this time. One second. Sorry, I tried to sneeze really bad and I didn't think you guys wanted to hear that. Maybe you did, I don't know, but if you did, a bit strange. I'm sure there's someone out there that has a, a folder on their PC of YouTubers sneezes that is just biting their fingernails that I wouldn't display that to you guys, but I don't know, the internet's a weird place. Right, um, then let's go with Puffy Cheeks. Anything that's going to up our DPS, let's just go with that this time around. And that's going to be mighty good for us. Bouncer crossbow is very nice. Had some good times with this recently. Is that it? No, it is not. SMG is not going to be super useful unless we get that accuracy up again. It's good enough, but not the best. There's the accuracy up and there's nothing else there that, that I even really want, so that works out nicely. Yeah, just get that in there, bouncing around, doing its thing. Ran out of ammo, but instantly got some back. And again, same thing. Seeker pistol. This time, let's, let's try and take the seeker pistol. I'm trying to take that through instead. Okay, do okay. Dude, this bouncer thing's amazing. Yeah, I don't want to go through the crown portal this time, please. Frost SMG. Hmm. Tantalizing. What's left? I knew it'd be one of you guys. Oh, bloody hell. It's more than one of you guys. No? Dude, these fucking crows, man. Not even the crows. Not even the crows. Um, Euphoria, maybe? I don't really take that very often, but I think it's pretty good. Hey, here's all the health I'm looking for. Dude, this bat for a tier two, this thing's just ludicrously good. Good shit. Go. Take me to that area. Take me to the last area. I knew there'd be one of them in here. I got damn knew it. Make sure we get all the rads. Oh, 
I can't fucking hit anything. Give me Herming. Okay, killed all the turrets as well. And what the hell's left back over here? Did some dude run past me and I didn't notice? Yes, he did. God damn it. Um, go with that for that 30% damage bonus. The Penetrator. I don't exactly know what the difference with the Penetrator is, but I will take it. Seems good. Whatever it is, seems good. Okay, so it looks like as it penetrates through enemies, it shoots uh, splinter bolts. Which is pretty good shit, to be honest. I like this thing, it seems very good. How did that miss? Go, I need some more ammo, chief. There you go. Dude, this thing seems amazing. It also seems to do more damage the more enemies it pierces. See how it doubled on the second enemy there? I like that. Now we just need Bolt Marrow, and we'll be in a pretty good place. How do I keep having these shots that just miss everything somehow? As long as we keep getting ammo, we'll keep being in a good spot. I want to close these vaults, because that'll, un that'll uncase our weapons if we go through the vault. And I want to keep a cursed weapon. Good. That not it? Must be a police that spawned over here somewhere. Where art thou, police? Oh no, it's just a few of these guys that I completely missed. Good stuff. Up to level 7 as well. Bolt marrow? No, no bolt marrow. Um, take back muscle. I, I don't really take back muscle that often, but it's very useful. Especially if you're doing a situation like I am now. Oh, hello, sir. Where are you going to land today? I heard you. It'd be good if I could hit him. There you go. He almost flew into me there. Very nearly died. Very much did die. Dude, I started with the SMG again. Can we... Do you know there's other golden weapons we have? Do you want to, like, pick one of those? Yeah, flamethrower. That's a better one. Go with that good old flamethrower. I don't think there's any uh, mutations that buff flamethrowers, is there? Flamethrower's a really good one to start out with, though. Very high damage, very good AoE. I don't know, really know if there's any mutations that would work really well with it. Good old damage over time effects. I'll go through there, why not? Beautiful. And again, just taking that early is super good. And most of these enemies have like 6 HP, so they go down pretty easy with this setup. That was a very quick stage, my god. Um, 30% extra damage, yes please. With this thing seems really good. I mean, we need to be at max HP to get 30%, but not too difficult. Give me some HP game. What you playing at? There you go. Slugger. I guess I'll take a slugger as a bit of a longer range option. Enemies like this makes it a lot easier to live. Okay. And probably use that on the boss as well, because the boss is going to be a pain. Go with this. So what do we have so far here? We have quite a bit of extra damage. I think we just need scarier face now. We've got the full damage package. Package. 
Okay. So this is actually a good combo for this boss. Yeah, there you go. High damage, bouncer flat cannon. Yeah, seems good. Um, high damage plus the ability to AoE kill all the fish is really good. But not like that. Amazing stuff. This this bounce of flat cannon seems right up my alley. Um, let's go with trigger fingers here. Yeah, I think in this situation, this is very much a toss these out and what happens happens sort of thing. Cool. Bounce a crossbow there. I want to see if there's a thingy over here. There it is. That's what I'm looking for, baby. Gets up to level 6 nice and easy. Um, and then, yeah, I think it's scarier face. And now I think we've got 30% damage at max HP, 27% less enemy HP, and 20% less enemy HP. So enemies have 47% less HP and we deal 30% increased damage. So this, this is like the full damage package, as in like, enemies are gonna die fast. Okay, we're through here now. We just leave straight away, I think. The boss, I'm unsure how that's gonna go, I'll be honest. Never like the fact that this boss fight has a bunch of other enemies. Dude! What the shit hit me? Game! <laughs> I'm getting really confused. Did I get hit by, like, a rogue bit of fire or something? I get this really good setup and then all of a sudden I'm dead, but then again, it has me right for taking all offensive things and no defensive things, I guess. Take impact wrists early. Seems like impact risks could be really good early on. Fucking stupid hit there. Oh, we uh, kill that guy because I think he's the last enemy. Oh, no, nope, definitely not. Grab that real quick. Grab that. That and that. Jaw splitter, no thank you, but this is good stuff. Nice. Oh my god. Impact wrist is something I should just take every time I see it. It's it's so like fun and it's it's genuinely really good. I need some explanations, people. What the hell is going on? What killed me then? <laughs> I'm so confused. Genuinely have no idea what killed me there. Was there an explosive shot that I didn't see? Am I blind? I think I might just be blind. It seemed like then I just killed the boss, boss was dead, then I just spontaneously combusted. Use the toxic revolver here. It's a little dangerous, but if you play your cards right, it's pretty useful. A good bit of extra damage. Just about using it at enough range to make it safe. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Hit myself with it already. Okay, here we go. See, impact wrists, just take it. It's just, it's just that good. <laughs> Good stuff. Unfortunately, I kept pushing that guy out of the uh, poison I was trying to get him in.
Beautiful stuff. Any enclosed areas just get just destroyed. Take that again. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the damage build again. I'm 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 stuck on this damage build at the minute. I love the idea of it. It's risky, but I just realised there's frogs in this area. Poison plus frogs is uh, somewhat dangerous. Double machine gun there. Okay, cool. And here we go. We do have a crossbow for a safer killing if we need it. That ain't my style. I don't play it safe. One thing that is really confusing about impact wrists, I will say, is uh, with impact wrists, you end up creating a lot of holes in walls. So sometimes you'll be like, ah, yeah, this is the path. And it turns out it's just a hole you've created. Normally the floor pattern is different, you can tell, but sometimes it's a little hard to tell. That rat just walked right into me. Oh, this is the car fucking launcher. Shit. Okay, this thing as a starting weapon probably isn't the best. Because I imagine it's quite ammo hungry. And yeah, I'm going to have a really hard time killing a lot of the stuff here. But it's pretty awesome that you can launch a golden car. I love that. Or you can just kill yourself with it. <clears throat> Equally as good. Right, let's play this one safe. Let's try and get a good run going. I want to try and uh, get to loop at least. Grab that. Keep going with the flamethrower. Like I said, golden flamethrower is really good for us here. It's really, really nice early on to be able to easily take out these guys. Beautiful stuff. And there you go. Do not want Toxic Revolver, thank you. And we shall take... Trigger Fingers, maybe? Not super useful early, but later game it'll make itself more appealing. Beautiful. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Shotgun, no thanks. There you go, look. Flamethrower cleaned up very nicely there. We'll always go with the paws because it's just very good for healing and extra rads. Maybe I'm overrating it, but I think it's pretty good. Twenty damage apiece on all of these guys. Oh god, lots of rats. See, this is where Trigger Fingers is useful, though. Killing these guys. Oop, we got an inverted over here. Good stuff. Get all the rads. And then... Gamma Guts, honestly, is probably a good idea, because we've been getting killed to contact damage seemingly a lot recently. I'd rather avoid that if we can. Glad to have killed that guy super easily. See? Contact damage there would have killed us. Would have got us, but we're not going to deal with that now. In fact, I could just not use ammo against these rats if I wanted to. A little risky, though. Okay, you can see that that's not doing a whole hell of a lot there. Okay. Be careful against these fellas. The electricity is useful, but it's not end-all, be-all here. Oh my god, there's so many shots on screen. These two big boys. Hey, extra healing. Fell up there too. Let's 
Sacrifice first weapon mod. Let's go through here. Why not? Uh, second stomach. Yes, please. Golden bazooka seems good. Oh, fuck. <laughs> My goodness. My goodness. Do we get the car launcher again? <laughs> the car launcher is so fucking silly. I love that. <laughs> it's just too easy to kill yourself with. Right, let's give it one more go. It's been a really fun episode. I want to get something going with the um, courtyard area, but we've just not had a run that's really up to the task yet. I've not really had any amazing weapons th thus far. I've been taking a lot more damage than I should as well. That's, that's another big part of it. As proven by the damage I just took. <laughs> um, take Rhino Skin early. Early Rhino Skin seems very useful. Boom, bow. Hand cannon, I think I'm okay. Then we can take this a bit more freely now that we've got the two extra HP from Rhino Skin. Shotgun Rifle. Eh, I'm not really sure about the Shotgun Rifle. It does use two types of ammo, which is kind of nice. Okay, that guy was a little tricky to maneuver around. There you go. And give us a better weapon. Kraken gun? Yeah, I'll take that. I like the Kraken weaponry. Okay. Need more ammo for it, though. It's nice that it kind of pierces through walls a little bit. And it's able to take out quite a few enemies in one shot. Anything else? Yes. Yeah, I like this. Weapon seems goddamn good. Um, I guess we'll take Scary Face at this stage. Never like it when there's cars right next to you wherever you spawn. Always feels a bit scary. This thing seems like it'd be really good if we got it going with some weapon mods. It kind of does like low damage, but like multiple times. So it's able to hit for pretty pretty hard overall. Like I said, it's reaching between multiple enemies as well, which is super useful. Almost out of ammo on it. It's careful. Don't steal my shotgun ammo. See, that killed all four of these guys. Beautiful stuff. Ion bomb. Ooh, ion bomb's pretty good. Let's let's take ion bomb. Good stuff. Because we can do this. Not have to worry about those guys. Um, absorbing pause again. It's just too good not to take. Yeah, basically I can just get to pick where an explosion goes regardless of where I am to it. I like that. Oh, dude. The safety that I can have while using this is... Very nice. I'm guessing the explosions don't do all that much damage. Just to balance it out. Okay, we got flame splinter gun. Seems very good. I like it. Oh god damn, that's a lot of explosive boys. Holy shit, that's also a lot of ammo. Okay. Ah, that was it. Right. Nice. Um 
Rabbit's paw is probably going to be pretty good for us here. What in the fuck is this stage? A lot of enemies to be dealing with right there. I think this should pretty much kill him in no time at all. Lovely, it did. Yeah, so the explosion this thing does is actually pretty weedy. It only does 10 damage. But it's the fact that you can place it from behind cover is pretty incredible. I'm able to have a lot more smooth control over where I am. Stay out of the way of enemies that have cars in their hands, for example. Beautiful. The accelerator, though. We, we saw how powerful that was last time. I'd like to take that. Well, they're saying that. Or the weapon would have been very nice on this stage. Okay. This this splinter flame gun is incredible as well. It's got to be said. The flame weapons are pretty hot right now. Beautiful. Oh, we did it. Nice. Level 7, here we come. Um, Gamma Guts again, yeah. And then this thing we modify with Kraken, I think, maybe? I think Kraken goes well on this bad boy. Yeah, Kraken works well on this bad boy. It's our boy. I'd rather be in an open area for this guy. Yeah. Makes him a lot easier. As far as bosses go, he's a goddamn pushover. Gamma Guts coming in clutch there. Swarm Shotgun. That sounds pretty awesome. Oh, that's it. Okay. Away we go. Into the crystal caverns. Beautiful. Splinter Seeker Crossbow. Mmm. Splinter Seeker Crossbow. Multi purpose, but I like the flame. I think the flame is really selling me on this thing right now doing a lot for me. Yeah. Where are we looking? A little hive of those little fellas. No, thank you. We're getting ammo back for this thing pretty regularly as well, which is helping me enjoy it. I'm pretty sure our boss is here any second now. Is it this stage or is it the next one? Pretty sure it's this stage. Yeah, it's the stage. Okay, this is unfortunately not a very nice area to fight this guy. Luckily, he has cleared out a lot of the area for us, which made things a lot simpler. Cool. We're in a good spot. Uh, Plutonium Hunger, I think. It's going to be good. Try and keep our distance and use this. Stuff. These guys are going to be a nightmare. They luckily got very low HP though. I forgot to bring a cursed weapon for this again. The Explosion Flail. Holy shit, that thing could be amazing 
Um, I imagine it can't kill me. I might keep that. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Oh yeah, this thing's amazing. Gotta be a little careful. I am taking a lot of damage right now. In fact, I'm on 1 HP. I didn't realize. Am I going to be going into the boss fight with 1 HP? Okay, no. At least I've got some healing there. Um, Go with the metabolism. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm not super hopeful of my choices here, but we'll see. Basically, I'm hoping this thing can destroy bullets and do good enough damage to uh, put me in a good spot to kill this guy. Yeah, it did exactly that. Nice, we got Ultra there. Right, what are we taking this time around? Let's try that. Right, I'm going to have to use this for now. Tenium Hunger coming in clutch. There you go, baby. Okay, we're through. Now, is Explosive Flail going to be the way to go here? I'm not sure. It seems pretty good so far. Like the way I can just destroy walls and keep on walking. Destroy all the walls and keep her going. Okay, got everything? We did. Nice. Just keep on plowing through. I love it when you can destroy the van before they even get out. That's your sign of having good damage on a loop. On the first loop, at least. I do wish we had the one that makes us swing faster when we, uh, like, trigger fingers, that is. Wish we had that. I don't think we have trigger fingers. Oh, wait, maybe we do. Do we have trigger fingers? No, we don't. Okay, nice. And then last enemy down here. Ain't no trouble. Thank God for all this healing that's coming in. Because every fourth hit not dealing damage as well is going to be pretty clutch, I think. Right, Mum. I don't know how much health you have, but I'm sure your death will be reasonably swift. Indeed it was. Oh, we got pizza time. Let's go down here. Well, that was quick. <laughs> Everything's just dead. Double bouncer laser pistol. That seems pretty good. Good. 
suck up all those reds, boy. Not that I need them, really. I could be using my beam more at this point, because... I don't need the reds, but I don't know, I just don't like, don't really like the beam too much. I'm sure someone's going to be like, well, the beam could have saved you at this point here if you'd have done this. I know. I know. This double laser thing is amazing. Super bouncer bazooka. Why would you want a bazooka to bounce? May I ask? What is this crazy world we live in? Bouncing bazookas? Excuse me? Okay, good. This, this mute Ultra we've got with the rad bullet shooting out, okay, it's hard to tell how effective it's currently being. Right, anyways. Finally reached what I wanted here. Let me, uh, grab item drop, I guess, on this. And then grab that. Good. Boss time now. Which, honestly, is going to be kind of tricky, I think. We really don't have weaponry to fight this guy. He, he keeps also ducking his head under, which is kind of frustrating. Yeah, this is a very frustrating fight. Okay, we got him. Took a bit of doom, but we got him. I feel like this is not going to go well. Somehow I'm still alive, albeit I'm not quite sure how. Uh, yeah, I don't even know what happened there. A dog came at me at lightning speed and I died. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. I'll see you guys in the next one.